Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you about natural water cycle, putaran air secara semula jadi. Let's watch this video first. Hello, I am Miss Water. I will take you on a tour of the natural water cycle. Let's go. It is a hot day. I can feel the heat. I am now changing into water vapor. It means I am evaporating. I am getting lighter and I am rising in the air. I am rising higher and higher and it is getting cooler and cooler. Now I have become water droplets. There are millions and millions of us in the clouds. The clouds are getting heavier. Oh no! We are getting too heavy and we are going to fall. We are falling as rain on the land. We also fall into the rivers and seas. The rivers flow into the sea. Tomorrow, when it gets hot, we travel again in the same water cycle. The natural water cycle is important because it supplies water to humans and other living things on Earth. It also helps to cool down the Earth. Okay, that's the video about natural water cycle. And let's refer to the textbook. Okay, for natural water cycle, you have to remember uh, these four steps. Um, first, the water, uh, either from the sea or river, it will be evaporate. Evaporate ni maksudnya tersejat, dia naik ke atas. And because of the sun, because of the heat of the sun, dia akan naik ke atas, evaporate, uh, and it will, uh, it will form together. Dia akan berkumpul and to form the clouds. Dia akan berkumpul to form the clouds. First, water, air. Second, water vapor, uap air. And then, third, clouds jadi awan and then it when it become together and it will become heavier dia akan jadi lagi berat and it will fall as a rain dia akan jatuh as a rain number 4 rain this one you have to remember and it will fall down on the earth tak kisahlah on the river on the hills anywhere uh, and it will fall down as a water and become um a natural water and this cycle is continuous cycle dia sentiasa me me menjadi kitaran yang tak berhenti um, because it supplies water to the living things dia sebabkan cycle ni lah kita, uh, dia, kita dapat sumber air semula jadi and to cool down the earth untuk menyejukkan bumi if this not happen the earth it will become hotter. Okay, next. Next will be air. Air is around us and air is also present in water and soil. Air consists of gases such as oxygen and carbon dioxide. Uh, maksudnya kat sini, air udara ada di sekeliling kita. Dalam air ni ada dua jenis gas yang paling teringat lah. Ada juga gas lain tapi yang teringat oxygen and carbon dioxide um, and we use air it is needed for living things for human to breathe for animal to breathe and for blood for plants to breathe and it's also uh, present in soil and water uh, dalam air dalam tanah pun ada udara but um, the cons the consist a limited air lah uh, daripada dekat luar ni, uh, kalau surrounding uh, the air is um, plenty for us but if in water and in soil, it's limited okay, that's all for today